Hello, and I would just like to take a few minutes of your time to demonstrate for you how to find some really great open content that you can use in, well, whatever you want, really, um, according to its license. I just want to make sure everybody knows first off that um, I'm going to assume that you understand what I mean by open licensing. Um, it, it, you know, you can just do a look, uh, do a search for Creative Commons licensing, um, or if you're in um, one of my classes then you can just go to the module about intellectual property and you can look at that stuff in there because um, you know one of the things you want to do if you're creating a, a website if you're creating any kind of a publication any kind of a professional or uh, even personal publication in which you want to use maybe some images that you want to find online or music or some other thing that you didn't actually create yourself and you don't have the copyright for um, you can use open content to uh, to get some of that stuff and to use it, um, and, and of course, as long as you you know make sure that you uh, you follow the, the the guidelines on the specific license that it has, and that you also attribute it appropriately. So all those details, you can look for that information elsewhere. I just want to real quickly, um, since we're already a minute into it, demonstrate how to find some of this stuff using a couple of different sites. First of all, Google Images, um, which is you know it's not like I own stock in Google or anything, but uh, it is definitely a uh, very a great place to go to find images. Now we all know that if you are looking for any number of different things, let's say you want like a cute puppy picture, right, to put on your website. It's like, well, if you just type cute puppies into Google Images, there's all kinds of, you know, adorable little puppies in there, you know, wearing Pikachu hats and stuff. So um, now the problem is, is that a lot of this stuff is probably copyrighted. So you can't, you can't just take a picture like this and put it on your website if you wanted. Um, but what you can do in Google is you can go right up up here to um, under tools and you go to usage rights and then under there what you can do is you can actually select exactly how you uh, what license basically the images would have now these aren't worded exactly the same way that the Creative Commons licenses are um, but they pretty much describe all the different things uh, that are on the Creative Commons licenses so if you were to say labeled for um, reuse with modification and um, that would include commercial reuse. It would include being able to change it, you know, modifying it. Um, if you wanted to do that, then you're going to see that there's actually quite a few pictures in here that are supposedly so far, you're going to have to double check, but are pictures of cute puppies that you would then potentially be able to use. So let's say you like this one right here. You click on that. That's going to take you to a place called Pixabay. Um, and you can go in there and, view, and visit the actual page and you'll see, um, hopefully it'll not mess with me here all right there we go there's the picture right there you go in here and it tells you what the license is this is public domain uh, you can download it for free if you want it would be pretty simple actually to get this copied over into whatever document you want um, you can just simply download uh, the file in whatever format that you want now, because this is under the Creative Commons Zero or public domain license, you don't actually have to attribute the photo if you use it. Um, you don't. You can do whatever you want with it, pretty much. Um, but if you did want to include the attribution, um, which is sometimes a really good idea, just because not only does it tell uh, your reader like where you got the information from, and it's kind of like you know, um, you know, kind of giving a shout out to Pixabay or whatever the place that you know they gave you access to the picture in the first place but um, if you wanted to say that and you wanted to just make sure that anyone whoever saw the picture knew that you were using it legitimately um, you could very easily copy over the link basically if you click on learn more here you see how it already provides you a link right here to the Creative Commons um, title so what you could do is you could actually just copy this link right here over into um, whatever the thing is you're creating and then just say image retrieved from Pixabay and available under Creative Commons CCO including that link right there and you'd be all good to go now if we go back to Google Images you'll notice that um, that it takes you to a lot of different websites well one of the ones that you will often find here see right here says commons.wikimedia.org well Wikimedia might sound somewhat familiar to some people if you use Wikipedia um, Wikimedia Commons is you know it's it is a basically a repository for media um, it's a it's uh, the same organization Wik, uh, in fact it's um, 
Wikimedia is the name of the organization that created all of these other things, Wikipedia, Wikisource, all these other ones here. So um, it's it's openly licensed, just like Wikipedia is, and people from all across the world kind of you know upload, uh, take their own photos and whatnot, and, and and upload them here. So if you were interested in doing a search here for puppies, then you might be able to find something. It's not going to be quite as you know dynamic and and great as as Google is, but you can go in here and say. Oh, puppies playing. All right. So here are some puppies on, um, you know, there's a adorable uh, German Shepherd puppy. Now this one right here, see it says more details. You click on that and it tells you um, basically everything that you need to know about this file right here. It gives you some options for downloading it and whatnot. Down at the bottom it gives you the information about the license. Now this is under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license, so you have to pay attention to how you're using it. That means that you can use it, you just have to, uh, if you change it or whatever, um, you have to put the same license on it and then at and you also have to say where it came from. Um, and the good thing about Wikimedia Commons and the reason why I direct you guys here is that if you download something from Wikimedia Commons, uh, when you ch when you're about to choose like which resolution of the file you want to download, it actually generates an attribution that you can just really easily just copy over. Uh, and paste right into the caption for the photo or paste on the photo credits page on your site or where however you're designing things now um, that's a requirement you actually have to copy that thing over and you'll notice that it, it contains um, the URL to the actual Creative Commons license and that's important that you maintain that as well when you're using open content because you, you don't want to just say that it's there but you actually are expected to include that link so that's why I really like Wikimedia Commons because it is it it, you don't have to do anything. I mean, it creates the attribution for you. You just have to copy it over. And that's it.